Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all keeping well. My analytics tell me that there are more female viewers. Ladies, you're very welcome and thank you for viewing. Today's tying is a caddis fly. And when it's complete, I have to say it looks more like a diptera than it does a trichoptera. But it's definitely a trichoptera because of the wing style. Now I'm going to give you the materials as I go along. And first I'm going to mount with black thread and this is a 12-0, which I think is 50 denier. Just tie it on a little bit back from the eye and trim up the excess. And wind it back to the start of the bend. Right, now the body is going to be black pheasant tail. And in this instance, it is just one piece of hull, just one fibre for the body. I'm just going to trim up that end. Now I'm going to tie this in with the thick end first, uh, which is quite unusual. We don't normally do that. We normally do it with a thin end, but we're doing it with a thick end. Tie that down, back up to the thorax area, back down again. Right now I'm going to uh, twist this fibre around the thread to give it a bit of extra strength when we're tying it. Don't get many ties, many uh, wraps, because this is a size 20 dry ply hook in the vise. It's a very small caddis. Tie that off. and trim it up. Right, now the uh, wing of this caddis is going to be Coq de Lyon. Now I've uh, stripped off the bottom of uh, this particular feather and obviously you won't need too many fibres with it being such a small sedge or caddis. So I'm just going to pull these out at 90 degrees and tie them, uh, pull them off. Now it is very important that you trim up those curly unstable ends and the reason why it's important is because we're going to put it in a stacker and if you don't trim up those ends they are unlikely to uh, stack up as you might say. I'll just take the fibres from the other side, it's like the same system, and trim up those ends, put them in the stacker, and I'll just uh, finish off with some of these other fibres at the top here. them up and put them in the stacker. Right, just tap it on the desk, the table, worktop, bench, whatever you're using, your hand. And I like to give it a bit of a turn as I'm tapping it in the hope that they come out as we want them. So we'll soon see. There we go. There's one errant fibre there but I'll deal with that in a moment. Right now the essence of this fly is that the wing stays straight on the top. Don't want it too long over the back, just hanging over the back like so. Let's see about tying that in. 
And what we don't want to do, if we can avoid that, is splaying it as we have done with other sedges. That's uh, fairly straight. Right, and trim off the excess. And tidy up. Right, now as a, uh, a sighter, and I suppose to aid the buoyancy as well, I'm going to use a CD feather. This is a natural brown CDC feather. Just get rid of this rubbish at the bottom. And pull the fibres forward and tie it in. Right, and pull it to length. Now this doesn't need to be too long. That's about it. And tie down and trim off the CDC. And tidy up. Let's build up the head a little. and tie off the fly. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, super glue on the head there just to keep the thread in place. Not a lot, just a dab. Check the eye. It's clear. And check the profile, really. And there you have this sedge that is perfect for slow moving water and the flats. Those areas where the water seems flat and very slow current. And if you're standing at the runoff and you see the rises, cast to them with this and they'll find it difficult to refuse. A great little sedge, use it and enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider being so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.